ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. At ako naman po ay si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is Season 3 of K-Check. Dito sinisiguro naming may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang mga challenges. Stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una, we have Alex. Alex is a student of UP Diliman. She is a secondary education major in social studies and her hobbies are watching horror movies, reading, and listening to music. Next naman, we have Earl. Earl is a marketing management student from Adamson University. He is from Las Piña City. His hobbies are cycling and eating. Sunod naman, we have Janine. Janine is a student of UP Diliman majoring in mathematics. Her interests include creative writing, fashion, and anything art-related. She's also an advocate for women's rights and climate justice. And finally, we have James. James is a freshman from UP Diliman, currently under the BS Mathematics program. His hobbies include reading, walking, and watching TV shows. And he also loves the K-pop groups Stray Kids and Seventeen. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Unang-una, UP Diliman Department of Arts Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Nandito din si Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last but not least, Assistant Professor Marla Endriga of the Department of Biology, UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin! It's now time for our first round. First question, contestants. In science, the chemical symbols for gold and silver both start with what letter? James. A. A is the correct answer. K, check. The symbol for gold is, as you probably know, AU. The symbol for silver is? AG. AG. Question number two. In computers, what do you call the physical and electronic parts of a computer rather than the instructions it follows? The physical and electronic parts of a computer is called the hardware. Question number three. Which famous actor played an Oompa Loompa in the 2023 film Wonka and a bookstore owner in the film Notting Hill. Um, Timothy. The answer is incorrect. The correct answer is Hugh Grant. Question number four. What is the surname of actor Matthew? Vocalist Steve and singer Katie. Janine. Perry. Perry it is. Kate Check. Question number five. In geometry, what is the perimeter of a square whose side is 27? Janine. 108. 108 is the correct answer. Kate Check. Question number six, what do you call the material like lodestone or barium oxide that attracts metals? The correct answer is magnet. Question number seven, King Salman became the monarch of what oil-rich Middle Eastern country in 2015? The correct answer is Saudi Arabia. Question number eight. Gising gising tayo, mga contestant. When talking about tire pressure, what does the P in PSI stand for? The 
The correct answer is pounds. And PSI stands for pounds per square inch. Yes. Okay, check for me. Question number nine. What part of a tree that serves as an outer covering is the favorite food of elephants? James. Bark. Bark is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. In tennis and volleyball, what do you call the action of bringing the ball in play to start a point? Earl. Service. Service is correct. Serve or service is correct. K check. Question number 11. At 78 years old, who became the oldest president of the United States in his inauguration in 2021? Earl. Joe Biden. Joe Biden is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. What great ape was used as an ambassador of Malaysian diplomacy to sell palm oil? The correct answer is orangutan. And that's it for our first round. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabby, for that round. Let's do a scores recap. Sina Earl, Janine, and James, lahat nakakuha ng 20 points. Samatala si Alex, pwede pang humabol sa susunod nating mga rounds. Mm -hmm. So, Attorney, ito na yung favorite ito part na. natin. Kung saan mas kinikilala natin yung ating mga contestants. Ito ang... Kay Chica! Simulan natin kay Alex. So, Alex, aling horror movie yung pinaka-tumakot sa'yo? Uh, yung Conjuring Part 1 po. Hmm. Bakit? Ano yung uh, kasi traumatized based, ka ba doon? Opo, kasi based po siya sa true story. Yan na nga ba? Kaya ayokong nanonood ng hor horror story at horror movies eh. Yan Ina talaga. Naalala Hindi talaga ko kung sino yung pinaka-horror figure doon. Sino nga yun? Si... Um, ano po siya, na-possess po yung nanay nila dun sa Conjuring Part 1. So, Wag na natin pag-usapan. Wag na, change topic na tayo. <laughs> Kaya lumipat naman tayo kay Earl. Si Earl na lang ang kausapin natin. <laughs> si Earl naman, smart yung choices for hobbies. Magbisikleta at kumain. Parang zero balance lang. Ano? <laughs> Sinadya mo ba ito? Ah, uh, opo. Sinadya po talaga para... Nagbibisikleta kahit... siya papuntang kainan. <laughs> Ako, ah, parang ganun na nga po. <laughs> Para malus agad. Opo. Tapos kain ulit sa sunod. <laughs> Nagbabike po ako, tapos uh, kumakain po ako sa mga paresan, sa bulaluan, sa, sa iba't ibang lugar naman po para makatry po ng uh, iba't ibang uh, culture or iba't ibang lasa naman po. Natry mo na ba yung diwata? Pa? Opo, natry ko na po. <laughs> sa Pasay, no? Sa Pasay. <laughs> Magkakaroon na raw sa Quezon City at Tarni, ha? Ba? All this, all this um, attention yes. is uh, mm -hmm. earning him. Yeah. Ba? Earning him more, more money. More money. And more sure. branches. <laughs> Pero anong favorite ng food sa lahat na natikman mo? Uh, sa may uh, daang, daang rain na po sa may uh, imus, yung parisan po doon napakasarap. Alas Piñas nga kasi, Apo. south. Okay. Mm, Kaya malapit okay. na siya doon, Pasay area. Ayan. So sana okay. mas maayos yung mga daan no, para sa mga siklista natin para safe na makakain si Earl sa mga oh, oh. Okay. Maraming salamat Alex and Earl. Mamaya naman babalikan natin si Janine at James para pag-usapan din yung mga background nila. Pero ngayon, maganda muna tayo sa round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng Kitchen. rin po ang ating karunungan check and at this point isang recap lamang Earl, Janine and James all have 20 points each. Si Alex kailangan pang humabol. Yes. So ituloy na natin ang second part ng Kichika! Si Janine naman nakausapin natin. Janine, uh, tell us more about your advocacies itong women's rights and climate justice. But ito yung mga napili mong advocacy? Um, women's rights po kasi of course I am a female and I advocate for the rights of my fellow um, women especially in this patriarchal society. And then climate justice naman because climate justice interrelates climate change and other environmental issues sa um, social issues or sa humanistic issues and I advocate for it because it aims to develop a humanistic approach sa pag-resolve ng environmental issues natin. 
humanistic approach. Mm-hmm. Mukhang talagang isang malawak mm-hmm. at uh, kailangan ng maraming oras. Yes. More than what we can obtain the information that we can obtain from Janine. Kulang-kulang tong ating mm-hmm. KG ka. But thank you, Janine, for <laughs> advocating for those advocacies. Magpunta naman tayo kay James. Ano naman ang plano mong pasuking na trabaho after graduation? Um, gusto ko po sana maging doctor po in the future po. And, and with my current program po, um, hindi ko pa po siya nakikita na possible. Pero if makashift po ako and eventually po na makapasok po sa med school. Ano nga ba ang inyong current um, course. field? Your yes, current course? Po. B.S. ma. Pwede naman. Sciences. <laughs> Oo nga. Pwede Mukhang pare. kailangan ng shifting yan para makapasok ng med school, no? Pero good luck sa inyo at sa inyong mga ambisyon sa buhay, no? Uh, we will all wish you well. But in the meantime, ito na. Di ba? Ito na. It's now time for round two contestants. So get ready to buzz in. But make sure to strategize dahil sa round na to, correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two. Question number one. Before releasing Autumn Variations in 2023, which singer came up with albums named after mathematical symbols? Janine. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. Scotch is another term for which alcoholic drink, which was developed in Scotland in the 15th century. Earl, whiskey. Whiskey is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What hit song of Five Seconds of Summer has a one-word title that means the loss of memory? Janine. Amnesia. Let me proceed. Due usually to brain injury, fatigue, or another cause. You said amnesia. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What word may mean a soldier's uniform or a condition of being extremely tired or weak? Correct answer is fatigue. Question number five. What is the name of the annual international song contest organized by the European Broadcasting Union, which was won by Switzerland in 2024? The correct answer is Eurovision. Question number six. What judicial office did Lourdes Sereno hold from 2012 to 2018, and Lucas Bersamin from 2018 to 2019. The correct answer is Chief Justice. Question number seven. In the NBA, what team from Los Angeles fired head coach Darvin Ham during the 2024 playoffs? Earl. Los Angeles Lakers. Los Angeles Lakers is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Allegiant is the third title in what series of science fiction adventure novels? James? Divergent. Let me proceed. Novels by American novelist Veronica Roth. You said Divergent. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What do you call a building with many small ni- niches for cinerary urns whose name is derived from the Latin word for dove? The correct answer is columbarium. Question number 10. Also called lithospheric plate, what do you call the rigid segments of the Earth's lithosphere that float on the mantle and interact to create mountains, volcanoes, and earthquakes? James, the crust. The crust is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is tectonic plate. Question number 11. What character was played by Whoopi Goldberg in the film Sister Act or by Bonnie Aarons in the 2018 horror film? The 
correct answer is none. Yes. Alex, kung napanood mo na ba yun? Hindi pa po. Okay, wag mo nalang panood. <laughs> Question number 12. Provinces, cities, municipalities, and barangays are all LGUs. What does LGU stand for? Uh, local Government Unit. Local Government Unit is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round two. Maraming salamat, Jules. Para sa round na yun, kamustahin naman natin ang scores ng ating mga contestants. Nasa lead si Earl with 80 points, followed by Janine with 60, James with 30, and Alex with some conjuring to do in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> Pero hindi pa po tayo tapos. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagpabalik ng... K-Check! Well, welcome back to K-Check. And at this point, si Earl nga ay nasa lead with 80 points. Pero malapit din si Janine with 60. Si James naman has 30 points. And Alex with a bit of catching up to do. Pero nako, malayo pa bago natin malaman kung sino ang daily winner natin. Dahil meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Tama. Sa ating panel of experts, manggagalin ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Kaya naman, let's go for those points and for the win. Let's, let's begin. begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. Prof. Sophie, first question, please. Thank you, Jules. Um, what painting by Leonardo da Vinci is the world's most expensive painting selling for $450.3 million in 2017? A. Mona Lisa B. Salvatore Mundi C. The Last Supper D. The Annunciation E. Lady with an Ermine So all the choices no, are paintings by Leonardo da Vinci but only one was ever sold at auction and it is Salvatore Mundi, the savior of the world. Thank you. Prof. Neil? These are non-textual sources that may include but are not limited to films, sound, and video recordings. A. Audiovisual materials B. Documentaries C. Information Recordings D. Media Files E. Motion Pictures Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. Audiovisual Materials Prof. Marla Clinical tests have shown that formulations from the local plant Ulasimang Bato or Pansit-Pansitan can be used to treat what disorder? A. Diabetes B. Hyperthyroidism C. High blood pressure D. High uric acid E. High cholesterol The drug formulation from this plant has an existing patent for its tablet form. The correct answer is D, high uric acid. Thank you. Uh, second set of questions, Prof. Sophie. Uh, thank you. Um, which pottery material takes its name from the Italian for baked earth? A, ceramic. B, porcelain. C. Terracotta D. Panacotta E. Terra Nova Janine A. Ceramic Mali po C. Terracotta um, You are correct, Earl. Terra is for Earth and Cotta is for Baked or Cooked Terracotta. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question. Anong teritoryo sa China ang sinalakay ng Japan noong 1931? 
bilang paghahanda para sa pagla- pagpapalawak ng teritoryo nito bago sumiklab ang World War II. A. Beijing B. Guangdong C. Manchuria B. Nanking E. Shanghai Jin E. Shanghai po Mali Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Manchuria Thank you Prof. Marla, next question please Okay. What hormone regulates blood sugar levels? A. Estrogen B. Insulin C. Testosterone D. Melatonin E. Cortisol James. C. Insulin B. Insulin is correct. K. Check. Thank you. Currently, we're halfway done, so let's do a scores recap. Well, after that second round of questions from our experts, Earl is in the lead with 110 points, followed by Janine and James, who both have 45 points each, and Alex with a bit of catching up to do. But we still have 180 points left for the next round, so galingan natin. Correct. Okay, simulan natin. Third set of questions, Prof. Sophie. Hey, thank you. This should be easy. What is the term for an artwork made by sticking various materials, such as photographs, and pieces of paper or fabric onto a backing. A. Frottage B. Collage C. Assemblage D. Ready-made E. Art Deco James. B. Collage Collage is correct. K. Check. Prof. Neil, next question please. This refers to a crime carried out by any person or entity who commits a fixing or causing to appear a forged signature on any work of fine art. A. Art counterfeit B. Art deceit C. Art faking D. Art forgery E. Art imitation Tamang sagot ay letter D, Art Forgery. Thank you. Prof. Marla, next question. Which component of a computer is for long-term data storage? A. RAM B. CPU C. Hard drive D. Motherboard E. Graphics card James. C hard drive. C hard drive is correct. K check. Before our last uh, set of question, umahabol si James at Ernie. Umahabol. Si Earl is still in the lead with 110 points, but James is very, very near, not very far behind with 105 points. And Janine with 45, and Alex with some catching up to do. So, meron pa tayong 90 points left for this last set. But James only needs five points diba, to match Earl for first place. Okay, let's do it. Last round. Prof. Sophie, go. Thank you. <clears throat> Guernica, which brought worldwide attention to the Spanish Civil War, which lasted from 1936 to 1939, is considered to be one of the most powerful anti-war paintings in history. Who painted Guernica? A. Salvador Dali B. Diego Velázquez C. Pablo Picasso D. Rembrandt E. Vincent van Gogh um, The correct answer is Pablo Picasso uh, um, It's a really, really big work Thank you so much. Uh, Prof. Neil, next question. Sa anong kagawaran namumuno si Benjamin Abolos Jr. bilang kalihim? A. DBM B. DILG C. DOJ D. DSWD 
E D T I Ang tamang sagot ay letter B D I L G Thank you. Off to our last question for this round. Prof Marla. Physics. What is the term for resistance to change in motion? A. Mass B. Force C. Energy D. Inertia E. Momentum Janine E. Momentum Mali Alex D. Inertia D. Inertia is correct. K-check. And that's it for our K-check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Earl, our K-check daily winner with a final score of 110 points. We'll see him again tomorrow when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Maraming salamat din, syempre, kay James na akala natin ay baka masungkit ang panalo ni Earl, pero sayang. Pero maraming salamat, James, Janine, and Alex for joining today. And of course, sa mga miyembro po ng ating panel of experts, Professor Sofia, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.